how well do you understand the Electoral College? Um, didn't attend myself, more of a school of hard knocks, university of life type. Well, it's uh, the story, Steve, of the greatest democracy that humanity has ever known. Where you can become the leader of a country, but lose the popular vote. And it still thinks it's the greatest democracy. Brilliant. And uh, maybe not. I thought I would take you through a little bit of Electoral College uh, 101 to prepare yourself for next week. Um, because, again, greatest democracy. Now, let's look back at the Electoral College, uh, what happened last time. These were the final results uh, between Hillary and Donald. This is what made him president. And th so there's there's 538 electoral votes that are possible. So you need 270 to win. And this is from a great website called 270 to win, where you can go in and put your own numbers in. So basically, Trump got 306 uh, electoral votes, and the Democrats got only 232, even though Hillary won the popular vote. And the reason why that works is because that's those electorals, those electoral uh, college votes are what make the president. Right. But it doesn't matter matter how well you do to get those votes. So for example, California, is you get 55 electoral votes from California, but you might win by one vote in California, you get 55 votes, or you might win by a couple million, which is what happened with Hillary, you still get 55 votes. Whereas you go to some little punk ass state like Wyoming, where there's only three people, <laughs> they get three electoral votes, because all three people voted the same way. It doesn't matter that there's only three people there, because it's God's country. God loves Wyoming more than the sinners in California. What happens with your um, your uh, Carolinas and your uh, Dakotas and the ones that have North and South? Yeah. What do you mean? What happens with them? Are they? Do they count as one? Uh, uh oh, the, yeah. There's North Carolina and South Carolina. Those are two separate states. Ooh. North and South Dakota are two separate states as well. Ooh, so that's they a, got divided up. I mean, there's yeah. a big difference between North and South Dakota. Um, one's called North Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> One's closer to Canada, which should make it communisty. But where Hillary fell down is is the night unfolded. Uh, she she lost. Florida was tight, and then that once that started to slip away, then North Carolina is actually sort of a swing state, which goes back and forth, and that slipped away. And then she lost Wisconsin by seventy thousand votes. So again, she gets all of the electoral votes in Wisconsin by losing by the 70 because some dumb fucks voted for the Green Party, yeah. which is one of my official things. And lots of other things. So that's what happened. That was the nightmare of 2016. Um, but now this is the state of the race right now. Uh, we've got here. Biden's looking good, which Hillary was as well. So we're just not being, you know, it's like, woo. Uh, Biden's on 290, you can see here. And Trump's only banked 163 electoral votes. What's that brown bit in the middle, though? That's the worrying. The brown bit is is the shithole that is Orlando, Florida. Uh, no, it's it reflects. Because that's the only like place you British the people have ever been. Yeah. Yeah. I hate that. <laughs> oh, you're from Seattle. Yes, I'm from Seattle. Oh, I've been to Orlando. Now. <laughs> Washington State is the upper left-hand corner. Anyway, different story. Um, those are tied states or toss-up states that could go either way at this stage. But you can see that you know Trump could win all of those states, and he still would come up short because right now the blue is back up in Wisconsin, which is in the north there, which is where Hillary fell down last time. Arizona is in Biden's uh, camp this time. So he's and and Pennsylvania, which has twenty electoral votes. So Biden's sitting pretty. He's looking good. You say that this though, is... but what? For yeah. My two questions would be: What are the light blue areas? We can bring it up again. What are the light blue areas? And they lean. They lean. Okay. They lean. So that means there's a str there's a chance of it falling into the territory that you just described of just slightly leaning one way, and then all of those votes are wasted. Correct. So that's what Texas is only leaning, which is really the big news, which has given us we're, that's given us a tasty. The liberal taste, we can just feel it, like we can see it and think, you know, they must know that Trump is nuts and crazy and, and you know, yeah. everything else. And it gives us this next one, Steve, which is a liberal's wet dream. Show it to me. 430 to 125. Look at that. Texas is blue. Florida is blue. We keep Wisconsin. Arizona, 413. But this this just made this up... Is... <laughs> Well, this is a this is possible because was this on Pornhub? This is just it just, I mean, it, I, I'm struggling to focus now. I get so excited, <laughs> the blood has gone to a different part of my body. This just shuts Trump and Trumpism down. It's over. Okay, but I am a liberal, so I know that this won't happen. <laughs> Because we just we we see what happens is my liberal colleagues in America they see that and they go oh we're 
going to win. And, you know, like the one woman who said, I voted for Trump because it was a joke. You know, I supported Bernie Sanders the whole time. So I voted for the person who's the opposite. Uh, anyway, so there's two liberal nightmares that could happen that we could see next Tuesday night. The first one is this. This is a tie, mm -hmm. which is possible because uh, the framers of the Constitution were fucking morons. And uh, it could break 269, 269. Um, I just, I put this together. We keep Wisconsin as a liberal, but we lose a couple other places. So what happens in a tie, Steve? What happens in a tie? Contingent election. Penalties. Sorry, what? Basically, it is penalties. It goes to the House of Representatives. And um, that means that essentially each state gets to cast a vote towards the president. Now, the House of Representatives is who would decide that, which is currently controlled by the Democrats. But that's not what makes it doesn't matter who controls the House. It matters how many states you have in the House. And currently, the Republicans control more states. Ah. So in a tie that favors Trump. Okay, tricky. So that's nightmare number one. Nightmare number two would be this. And this is called Wisconsin fucks us again. <laughs> because this has uh, Biden winning some of the states, all the states that Hillary won, but losing Wisconsin and a couple other little states and basically 270 to 268. And it doesn't matter how many millions of people in California and in New York and everywhere else on the coasts vote for Biden. We will have four more years of Trump. How are you feeling about that? That's probably what will happen. Yeah. Hey, hey you know, it's going to give both of us more work. Yeah. But luckily, I live in the UK and things are going great here. <laughs> but we are going to be there covering it live. Steve, is that right? I've convinced you to do this. Yeah. I mean, I think we might need to give ourselves power naps, maybe at some point. <laughs> um, you know me, I drink so many cans of Monster that another one's not going to keep me up all night. So that's going to yeah. be a challenge. Uh, but yeah, if you can... If you're up, you want to get some coverage. I, I think we should set ourselves up as you could watch us. And mm. if you're watching some TV coverage, put us on as the soundtrack. Yeah. And we'll just be, we'll make it better. What we'll painful. do is we'll narrate what the TV people are telling, yeah. would be telling you, but we'll say it in a better way. Mm. And, um, and don't and worry, no insight. one will know the result by the morning. So <laughs> it's, uh, <you laughs> there'll be a point much. where uh, about 4 a.m. we'll just be like, oh, fuck it, I don't care about democracy anymore.